Hey YouTube, let's try this one more time. I uh, got interrupted by a school bus driving up and blowing its horn and doing all that kind of stuff and then, uh, I don't know, I just, that just threw me off my game. Anyway, uh, while we're waiting for paint to dry, you can see there's the Slumlord Gate, Slumlord Gate over there, pieces of it are all over the shop, we're just waiting for it to set up. Um, Let's get started on our next project. And this one here, this is a this is a for me project, uh, for the family, whatever. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going on a, a camping trip. We're going to go on a, a, a road trip. We're going to do a lot of camping and that kind of stuff. And what we want is we want to have a trailer that we can pull behind us that is um, that can carry the tent. You know, this, the equipment, and that kind of stuff. And, 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 and I've got something in mind, and uh, hopefully we'll have time to finish it, and uh, I won't have, you know, money issues between now and the time to leave, and, you know, that kind of stuff, because it, it's always something interferes with my plans. That's why Rusty sets the way Rusty sets. Um, but I think we got this. I think we've got everything set aside. I think we should be able to finish this. But uh, I want to introduce you to something that you may have never seen. This is a little trailer that I built, uh, oh gosh, years ago. I bought a uh, 71 MG Midget. And for those of you who are not aware, an MG Midget is a tiny, tiny little car. Uh, they're like literally driving a roller skate on the freeway. And I built this little trailer to pull behind it. It had smaller wheels. I had put the little tiny wheels on it, and I upgraded for another trip. But anyways, uh, each gas can, or five gallons, that literally is a fill-up for an MG Midget. The, uh, it was just a little lightweight box. I think this is only quarter-inch plywood. It's not very heavy-duty at all. It's really a lightweight trailer. We have little bumperettes that are off of an MG Midget. Uh, Matter of fact, it's even got the lights for the, you know, the little lights tucked in for the, the license plate. This is a latch for an MG Midget. And the, the way this thing works, you know, it was just real basic. You know, we've got a little prop here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. And that little thing like, well, come on. There you go. So anyway, and then we had, you know, I built this little nifty little locking mechanism in here and so uh, we're gonna modify those, this though and mostly the only thing we're really interested in is the fact that this trailer has uh, registration I that me, makes it where I don't have to uh, do any DMV it's licensed registered ready to go so we're just gonna modify it uh, pretty heavily actually um, it's going to have we're going to build a new axle for it. We're using the existing springs. The frame is going to get uh, uh, replaced. And uh, basically all we're keeping is uh, the springs and maybe the coupler, uh, the wiring maybe. Mostly we're building a new trailer and we're just using, like I said, we're building a new trailer but we're using this for the registration and a few of the parts, not a whole lot of them. But uh, the, we'll go into more detail about what we're doing and stuff uh, probably in the next video. Mostly what I want to do today is to get this thing stripped down and broken apart and get the stuff off of it that we want to keep. And uh, so uh, let's get started. All right. I wanted to talk about these uh, gas cans, the brackets that I built. I, I wanted to be able to lock them out so that people couldn't steal the can or mess with the gas or anything. So I built this bracket here, and I think I may, I should, have a key. Right. 
cap box here. Ah, there it is. Interesting story. You'll note my spare tire only has one lug nut holding it. There's a stud for another lug nut. Well, the trip that we took this on, uh, the wife and I took it on when we took was pulling. We were pulling it with the midget. The midget, the first day out, I uh, broke a head stud, and immediately the head gasket started to leak. Well, we were. Uh, way up on Highway 1 along the coast and I made a bunch of phone calls and I found a guy in Salinas that said he had one, the head stud, the right head stud for that, that engine. And so we cut across over there running on basically three cylinders and uh, I bought the head stud, the, the stud. I already had the gasket because, you know, it's a midget. You, you carry spare parts. I had a whole bunch of them. Uh, parts, various things. So uh, anyway, on the side of the road, we pulled over, I pulled the head off, cleaned the head, put everything back together. The study sold me was too long. To take up the slack, I pulled a lug nut off of here, put it between the, on the stud to take up the slack, buttoned everything up, went back down the road, and then what it would, then what it started doing was I noticed it was smoking. Well, what happened was the stud was too long and it was hitting the, the valve cover. So what we did was we pulled over again, pulled the valve cover off, and I took a ball-peen hammer and I made a little dome <laughs> in the valve cover so it had room uh, so that it would actually clamp down. And we drove it that way the whole trip.
that's it for today on this uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> made a mess in my garage. Uh, that's what's left of the little box. Just piled it up over there. Little bits of trash here. And then this tiny, tiny little junky trailer. Um, I don't know. I just... Uh, I probably should just go buy some springs and build a whole trailer frame, but I mean, I have to build. I want to build. That's the thing. I want to build a trailer frame anyway. Um, but I think I'm just gonna uh, keep with my original plan. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Next time. Uh, Next time I get to work on this, what I'll be doing is I should have a drawing by then with a little bit more of a detail of what the frame's going to be. And we'll be building a new frame. And uh, probably an axle. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a drop axle or not. Originally I wanted to do a drop axle, but I may not just for simplicity. And, and if I want one, I can always build that later. You know, I can always build the, you know, build the trailer so that the axle... You know, wheels can, I can do it. Anyway, uh, until next time, bye.